back to the second episode of my backpacking series. Good morning. None of us are doing super hot this morning. Bethany and I both have headaches. Hannah just threw up like five times. I think we might be dealing with a little bit of altitude sickness. This thing is whistling. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> You've looked better, Beth. <laughs> Morning. Do you hear it? Mm -hmm. Why is it doing that? I think it's because we're so high up. We're hiking on over to the bear bag that we left. Or the bear can. We want to get some coffee and some oatmeal rolling. Warm us up. Opening the bear can and seeing what was made for the day actually became sort of fun and exciting. And coffee. And coffee, the most important thing. It's a cold morning. When you're waking up cold, oatmeal and coffee are the two best solutions. So then you can just stand and drink that while you're waiting for the sun. And we are really, 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 really waiting for the sun right now. We want it to come out real bad. I boiled some hot water for Hannah just because she was so nauseous and I figured this would go better than food this morning. It's probably really hot. It was just boiling. <laughs> Here's your hot water. Don't to talk about it. No. Threw up. I mean, you can if you want. I was just gonna get a shot of your hot water. Well, well. <laughs> we're just trying to be real, right? Yeah. Is it recording? Yes. So let's talk about altitude sickness. <laughs> I've lived in Colorado for the last six years. My sister just came to visit to do a backpacking trip, and I'm having altitude sickness. It can happen to anybody, not just people coming from sea level. I threw up right there. Oh, right under the rock. Right under the rock. No. Oh, it's so thin. It's mostly just spit and neon color, kind of like our dog. When she <laughs> Except she licks hers up afterwards. In the sun. It's finally hitting the tents. You guys see it? Is that your ah, sun dance? Bethany, show us your sun dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sore. For the next hour or so, we took our time getting breakfast ready. We realized it would be totally unproductive to leave camp before we were feeling a little bit more well rested and warmer from sitting out in the sun. Just because you're in the mountains doesn't mean you don't get coffee. The sun feels so good. We were talking about putting on another layer and then we we're like, no, we just gotta wait five more minutes. <sighs> there it is. The packs left bruises on our hips since most of the weight is sitting on our hips, so I brought moleskin and then some tape to put over it just to keep some of that friction and abrasion down. I'm feeling like 75% optimistic. This tiny little thing made a huge difference and was a pretty big game changer for us. This next clip, I cannot believe I did not get to my camera in time to film this. What happened, Hannah? Hannah's tent flew away as she was taking the very last stake out of the ground. And when I say flew, I mean it was barreling across the bushes and she ran straight through the bushes. Where is she? Hannah? Hannah? And then there were some girls camped a little bit away from us and they actually ended up catching her tent for her. In other words, Hannah got really lucky. Our first obstacle of the day was to get up to the top of this pass and I tried to zoom in and show you some of the people that were hiking along the pass that morning. made it to the top of this pass. We're here, we made it. We camped somewhere over here and then hiked all along this trail, all the way through there. And then we started going upwards in little switchbacks until we got here. Bethany walked up to the little peak over there. She had fun getting some pictures. I'm just chilling down here with a map as blanket. Cause I don't feel like digging all the way through my pack and this is actually working quite well as a windbreaker. We are getting so sad. Guys, tell them what's happening. Well, we're going all the way back down and then all the way back up. Every time we take a step down, I feel like I'm taking away from all the progress we made. But look at the pretty waterfall. There is a pretty waterfall. Here's the pretty waterfall she's referring to. You can tell we're not near as high up because there's trees. We're not past tree line anymore. I think I 
got a little bit of heat exhaustion going on. <sighs> Trying to just put a foot in front of the other until we get there. My sisters are making fun of my gross feet. Oh, please don't show people that. <laughs> Nobody please wants to see that. Look how much skin. That's disgusting. Ew. <laughs> I knew the sock was like rubbing on my foot. It just kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and now I don't have any skin. This is my first time I haven't felt my feet hurting all day. It's because I can't feel them. Hey JFAM, we made it to our second campsite, kind of. We were planning on hiking to a lake that's probably, probably a fourth of a mile to the lake, but. Yeah, but I mean, we spent the majority of our day going straight down, like descending everything we did yesterday, we gone. probably descended a good 3,000 feet. Yeah, and then we went back up. The hills were so steep, but we almost made it to the lake. Unfortunately, Jessa wasn't so lucky. She um, started kind of getting sick almost at the top. So she's sick. She's in the other tent over there, but we're making dinner. Probably will be a lot of altitude sickness tonight and tomorrow morning. Ooh. <laughs> she's probably gonna be asleep before she eats this. Jessa, are you awake? Jessa, your potatoes are about ready. Jessa. Dinner's ready. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good night. Thank you all for showing up for episode two. I'm really passionate about sharing this wonderful, kind of magical experience I had in the mountains. I hope you all are enjoying it. And if you are, I would love if you come and join me over on Patreon. It's just a way to support what I do if you like my content. Otherwise, you can support me by just continuing to watch and leaving sweet comments down below. Love you, JFAM, and I'll see you in the next episode.